My name is Randy Austin and I work for the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. I am the Regional Spill Response Supervisor in their New York City office. Well, one of the many things that we do in the spills program is we respond out to oil and chemical spills. We get about 1,700 spills a year just in this, this region. Um, just as to give you some statistics, we have about 26,000 petroleum bulk storage facilities in the city and we have chemical bulk storage facilities and we have oil terminals. We got the full litany. You compound that by the fact that everybody's cheek and jowl in this town, okay? You've got buildings next to buildings. You've got buildings next to subways. Something leaks, it's going to show up someplace. And this is everything from spills in the street up until including major disasters. So we were there at 9-11. Our role initially and, and actually continually through the event was dealing with the waste disposal issues, taking all that debris material that they were moving out of the way. We were also there uh, at uh, Captain Sullenberger's flight when the plane landed down in the Hudson. And we were involved in the recovery of that because it was leaking jet fuel into the Hudson at that time. So we were there for that. We were there for Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy, basically we pumped out approximately 1,100 homes that had oil in, in their basements and in water adulterated tanks. We worked in the Rockaways, down in Coney Island, and other places like that. Uh, and in a lot of instances, we were the first agency to go into their, those households and work on those locations. So we do that to protect the public, not just the environment, but public health and safety. We also work as incident commanders in situations that are not oil or chemical related. An example of that was when the governor called out the state agencies to respond to a Legionnaire's disease event up in the Bronx. And, and I had to coordinate the efforts by the department and work with other agencies to get that done. Another example would be uh, Ebola. All right, there, if you remember several years ago, we had an Ebola threat. We got involved in terms of the medical waste disposal issues. The whole department, not just the spills program, gets so seriously committed in responding to emergency events. And we do a lot of hard work with that, and there's a lot of great people in the agency that step up and commit to doing that kind of work. A good day is when we have a mystery solved. A lot of the investigations we do, there's an unknown leakage of something, someplace. We don't know where it's coming from. We may not even know what the material is. But when we break that case and we solve that problem and resolve the environmental and, and health and safety issue, that's a good day. My career with DEC goes back 40 years. Um, that sounds like a long time. That sounds like forever. But I'll tell you, when you're enjoying what you do, when there's a lot of things going on and you're working hard to do your job, that goes in a blink of an eye.